Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode number 21 of Let's Survive Vanilla Skyrim Permadeath on Legendary Difficulty. Uh, today, we are setting out to do Delphine's quest to slay the dragon in Kynesgrove, but before we do anything with her, we're not going to follow her. Oh, sorry, that's my phone there. Um, we're going to let her make her own way to Kynesgrove, and before we head there, we are going to uh, visit the Greybeards first. Now, I am going to make my way I know you. over to Kynesgrove and to High Hrothgar through Helgen. Through the southern route so this is just going to be a little bit of a of a walk but i'm sure we will make it and i'm also sure we won't be um, too distracted on the way there because i don't think we're going to run into too much uh, in the way of danger or distraction on the road there because it's, you know i've walked it before i've killed the things and i don't think uh a lot of it will have respawned and etc etc blah de blah do, do, do. so after this we are of course going to have to start preparing for the Thalmor embassy and that is going to be quite an uh, quite a task because i i know that it is possible as a high elf to disguise yourself as a Thalmor and then you can kind of make your way through there sneakily uh, without having to fight. But I think if we do fail at being sneaky and disguising ourselves, we might be in a lot of trouble against all those Thalmor soldiers by ourselves because we will not have the support of a companion when we're doing that quest. So uh, I'm, I'm still kind of figuring out what I want to do in the way of preparation for that moment because I might want to use some magic resistance something like that to avoid being just absolutely murdered by their wizards am I going in the right direction I think I am yeah I thought that rabbit was a butterfly for a second all right we had to have fire breath selected you're all good allow me to grab my coffee here There is Hogan. Shit, there's still quite a few blue mountain flowers along this little path here. I don't know if they're here because I'd never picked them or because they have respawned since I have, but... I forget actually what the van vanilla respawn time is for ingredients. I do know that in order for ingredients to respawn, I think you cannot load that cell at all for a certain amount of days, so... Basically, what that means is that you actually need to stay away for a minimum of a week and it, from an area before plants regrow, and that spending a week in that area will not make the plants regrow. Yeah, so there should not be any bandits here. Very nice. Kind of bummed we lost our horse in Dawnstar because I was forgetful and careless. Oh, well. We'll get him back someday, somehow. Oh. That reminds me. That fox wasn't supposed to die. My girlfriend has been playing again. So I need to turn it back up to Legendary here. Because I shouldn't be able to kill a fox with that shout. Which is a bit ridiculous, maybe, but, you know, that's uh, Skyrim Legendary difficulty for you. It is ridiculous difficulty. There's a little snow. Storm clock over there. 
Let's kick up the pace. Hunter here. You don't say. Let's see if we can actually also do some sprinting. Whirlwind sprinting. And also if we can take a shortcut or two without falling to our deaths, of course. Now there's a horse right here. Am I gonna do that? Yeah. It's probably that hunter's horse. I don't know why he spawned so far away from it, but you know, his problem. Dragon, eh? Yeah, actually, there is something we might be able to do before we go fight the dragon with Delphine, because there is a different dragon. Like, very, very close to here. That I kind of want to get. And it's that one on the compass right there. Because uh, besides getting a dragon soul, he also has a word wall there with a very, very important shout uh, for legendary difficulty, which I would like to get. So I think I'm going to go do that before we head up to High Hrothgar. So we'll have a nice little bit of excitement here, a dragon fight. Which should be good. We are going to have to ditch the horse though, but, you know, Iverstead is very close now. Should not be a problem. Of course, uh, we won't be able to get back on this horse. Because A, it will walk away. And B, it's tagged as stolen. And there's witnesses here. But yeah. So what I'm going to do. Is basically, the dragon lair is like up that mountain. And I'm going to lure the dragon down to this camp. So all these soldiers will help me fight the dragon. And then that will be... Very good. And there's usually, though, there is at least one animal in the way. And there is a bandit camp right over there as well, which might cause some distraction. Let's uh, stay low here. See if we. Oh, there, there's a bear. Okay, my gold ear is with me, so I think we should be fine taking on the bear. I do want it dead and out of the way before we go wake up the dragon. Oh, it's fighting bandits. Hmm. Let's uh maybe watch the fight actually. There's a, okay, so there's bandits, and there's a mage, a necromancer, presumably, and there's the bear. Oh, the bear just died. And the bear actually knew where we were, but no one else does. I think they're going to kill that necromancer. Alright, well, we can leave these guys alone. Maybe they will uh, even end up helping us with the dragon. Is there going to be anything else, though, here? Usually there's a saber cat, like, right here. Or a bear. So it might have been that one. Hmm. Oh, wow. That goes up high. wonder where that leads. Ah, well, speak of the devil. It's a saber cat. Alright, come at me. That's not actually what I intended to do, but it's fine. Saber cats are actually pretty uh, doable for us now. They go down pretty quickly. Which is pretty good. 
Uh, where is the dragon? Oh, yeah, the dragon is right over there. Oh, it's actually, I was already a lot closer than I thought I was. I want to know what's up there, though. We, we might go check that out and actually become massively distracted. Which is a bit ironic, considering the start of this video. But, um... Yeah, time to wake up, dragon. That's a blood dragon. I was afraid of that. Okay. Where is it? Oh, whoa, 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 Where did it go? Yep, they're all fighting the dragon. Great. I'm starting to feel a bit more like a, an actual wizard now, nowadays. We're a lot less dependent on just our mace or our axe now. No, that's bad though. Oh. Hmm. We do need to start actually hitting him, maybe, though. That would be nice. Oh. But we're not getting close to him while he's on the ground like that. Not yet. I need to stop shooting him when he's moving. That is my summon there. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, we're fine. He's up. I think I'm gonna use my my highborn power. I haven't used that in ages, but I, I feel the time has come. Okay, stand still. Please don't clip into mountains and break my immersion. Uh, maybe this is not the best place to be actually because he wants to land here a lot. See if we can do this without hitting any of the Imperial soldiers. Ooh, that was close. Right, slowly but surely we are starting to grind him down. Uh, let's switch back to fire breath. Oh. Oof. Not good at all. Yeah, stay like that. Ah, sad. Highborn is still going though. Um, almost finished though. Yeah, it's finished now. Don't you dare go back there. Oh. I think he's finding something else now. Hmm. This army is going after them for us. So. Is my follower still up there or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's gold here. With his dwarven hammer. Alright, come at me. Destruction to 35. Oh, very good. It's not very high at all. Ah, it missed him. Okay, he's gonna land now. Let's hope it does somewhere close. Oh, that's not close. Okay, that's slightly problematic. I hope my little army here is gonna be able to find its way up there. Okay, let's let's stick with them. Die. 
Are we gonna go in? Dare we? Dare we do such a thing? Goldier is at high health. Doesn't seem like too much of a bad idea. We are killing him. He's being tanked. Okay. Yep. Oh, kill move. Ooh, epic. Yes. Yes. And the camera is not fucking up. I am next to his head though, but it's fine. Ooh. Beautiful. And that, my friends, is how you kill a blood dragon on legendary difficulty. Very nice. Let's get all his bones and stuff. I think we can't carry it, but we will be able to get Goldier to carry it for us. Absolutely nothing. He has a lot of banded iron shields. Let's give him all of that. And uh, do we need to give him anything else? Well, <laughs> um, kind of. <laughs> hmm. What is weighing me down? Is it, do I have too many potions? Is that it? I don't have that many, I think. Hmm. Uh, these fishy sticks might be part of it. I forgot about those actually. The constant buff. Hmm. Could have used that for this battle. Alright, let's go search his lair. Read his word. And then we'll continue on to... Uh, Iverstead and High Hrothgar. exactly what I have. Um, but Goldier doesn't have an Elven Bow. Let's give him an Elven Bow. I do hope he will manage to make his way up here though, because I don't want to be stuck walking like this. Where the hell is he? Oh god. Um, let's, uh, let's drop the pickaxe for now. Most mining locations will have a pickaxe next to it, hopefully. Yeah, so this is uh, marked for death, and basically it reduces um, armor rating, um, it does some damage over time, and just generally makes enemies a bit weaker and more squishy. And that's really important for some, for basically any enemy that has a lot, of, like a ridiculous amount of health, which is an awful lot of enemies in this game on this difficulty. So. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be useful for us, gonna help us win. So I think that is the shout I want to unlock. I do have two other options. Um, Kind's Peace is not that good, but Become Ethereal is pretty good. Uh, it also has the added utility is uh, that you can use it to jump down great heights because it also negates all fall damage, all damage. But for now, I think we're gonna go for Marked for Death because it's just better. Uh, for survivability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, there's another little tower here. Keep discovering new things in this game. Every time. Let's take that. Don't need any hides, though. Jorna Brett's Last Dance. Hmm. Skill book. Blue Mountain Flower. Alright, pretty worth. Pretty worth. Resist Fire Boots. How much is that? 15%. So with our other thing that we... Didn't we have another thing? Yeah, with our necklace, that's 45% fire resistance. 
we can garner up, which is pretty good. Pretty damn good. Death bell, no, I don't want any death bell. Anything else here? No. And then there was that path. Oh my god, the crash shot is pretty, pretty cool. But there was also that path up there. Like, does that go anywhere? Hmm. Unknown thing in Skyrim. With possible death chance. Because I don't know what's there. Or relatively safe hike up Mount Rothgar to get closer to completing the game. I think I'm going to go, go up here just for a second just to see what's here. If there's anything. There's some blue mountain flowers at least. So That's health potions. Hmm. There's a little hut here. Froakie Shack. Let's check this out. I've never been here. Ever. Looks like someone might actually be living here. Froakie Shack. Who are you? Just what we need. City folk barging in. Probably looking for an offering to their precious divines. Um What's wrong with the divines? They're stolen idols. Imposter gods sold by silver tongues. No thank you. Froki will not forget Kai or her sacred trials. What are the sacred trials? It's an old Nord tradition. A test to prove your worth in the eyes of Kai. Show that you're a hunter and no simple butcher. Kai teaches us to respect the beasts and blesses the hunter who will face their champions. True Nord hunters are those who survive the trials. Do you think you're strong enough for Kai's blessing? I would be glad to pass this tradition down. Hmm. All right, tell me what to do. You must defeat guardian beasts blessed by kind. Hmm. I'll anoint you with the symbol of the wolf, the crab, and the skeever. This will compel the guardian to appear when you reach his lair. Here's where you need to go. All right, so... Return when you've defeated the guardian wolf, crab, and skeever. A guardian skeever? Are you serious? <laughs> Don't mock it, Pop. Even the lowliest beasts can kill the weak and arrogant. We'll try more powerful enemies next, if you survive this. Wow, this is pretty cool. I've never, ever run into this, and it seems to be a little... a short quest line of some sorts, having you kill different beasts. Pretty cool. This is like a reclusive storm cloak living in the mountain. Probably a storm cloak, presumably, seeing uh, about his commitment to the old gods and stuff. C to Kine. Pretty interesting stuff. Tell me about Kine. The sycophant in the temple would call her Kinnereth. Just a pale shadow of the truth. Like all the temple divines. Kine. Blessed warrior wife. Shore's widow. Sacred to any true Nord hunter. She's the mother of men and beasts, and her veil is the storm. Um, is this your son? And grandson. He's a strong lad. His parents were at Helgen when... Well, oh, Hamming! It's, it's, the, it's the dude from the intro sequence. What the hell? I'm honestly surprised, like... Well, I can't say I was a great father the first time around. Now that he's here... Like a second chance. That's crazy. This game never ceases to surprise you. Hey there. Tell me about yourself, kid. I remember you. <laughs> Old people are often hypocrites. Froki can't cook, and there's nobody to talk to up here. Your parents were killed at Helgen? Yeah, but don't say anything about it to Froki. I don't think he understands. 
All right. Until next time. That's so cool that you can actually find that boy. I always wondered, like, to be honest, what happened to the guy. Free archery level there. So where do I have to go for these secret trials? All over the place. All right. So I guess we will make a point of actually doing this from time to time. Oh, wait. That's not one of the sites, but... Guardian Mudcrab over there. Guardian Wolf over there. And where's the Guardian Skeever? This is the Return to Horn. Where is the Guardian Skeever? Not gonna be on Soul's time, is it? Oh, it's over there. Ah. Oh. Well, didn't we kill a bunch of Skeevers there, like, <laughs> literally, like, two episodes ago? Oh, well. Hmm. Okay, we will uh, continue on our way. This was very interesting. And I think this path even continues up. Whoa. I'm, oh my god, this is interesting. I think it might end here, though. Or maybe not. No. Hmm. Uh, this will probably lead to the border, though, and then we won't be able to proceed. But still. Oh, there's a shrine here. Nice. Very interesting. Let's pray. The king. Or just king. Even two-handed skill book. All sorts of skill books I've never seen before either. This episode. I think three. Uh, I think actually the Vernicus and Blur thing or something. I didn't know that one. Oh. Well, what's this? It looks like the where the dragon was hiding was down there, but this is entirely new territory. I kind of don't want to jump down there, though. I don't know. I kind of feel like I will end up in the middle of uh, something. Because I do know that there's... Like, I've had the dragon fight there before, and then I was fighting at the towers, and the dragon would fly behind the mountains, and I would see that he was fighting Draugr, but I, there was no way for me to get there. But apparently this is the way. Although well, there seems to be another way through over there. That should lead maybe back down. Hmm... Alright, adventure. Let's go. Let's try not to fall to our death, so. Oh, new stuff spawning in there. Is this even the same fort? I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Ah, right, so you can just move up here. Oh, very good. Anyway, I think we've uh, procrastinated enough here. I think it's high time we get on to... Um, to Iverstead. So uh, let's just do that. Let's get back to our whirlwind sprint. Oh. And kick up the tempo. Hey, oh, it's a hunter, and this is uh, the dead bear. Bandits killed it. Hmm. Amazing. So we do, of course, also have... Um, Cyrodiil installed, so technically we could go south of those mountains. We just only have two ways of passing, right here and right about there. But it would be cool to make a an extra mod that would allow you to find extra passages like here and here. Where you could go down and end up east of uh, Frostcrag Spire, which is uh, the Wizard's Tower in the mountains near Bruma. That was also President Oblivion. Ooh. Oh, I think this is... Uh, 
Oh no, wait, I'm confused. There is a bear there, and those are Vigilance with Stender. Let's go help them. No problem, ladies. Uh, it's a shield. It's literally like my flesh. Alright. Wolves. Really? Ooh, didn't see that coming, did you? Alright, dealt with. And here we can just turn right. And then we shall be there, basically. Uh, what I do hope is that there will have been no respawns on the slopes of High Rothgar. Because that would not be good. Some mountain flowers. I think we'll actually make our way up straight away. God might get nervous. Just to get it done with. Is there something wrong with us? I feel like our movement speed is a bit low. Hmm. Seem to be fine. No spider here, so that's one enemy that hasn't respawned. Now let's see about the rest. I think I'll actually be uh, fast forwarding the rest of the way up here for you unless I do run into an enemy then I will jump back into normal speed but if not I think I will see you up here because really this is a uh, just a bit of a hike and there's nothing is really going to happen and uh, I, don't, I don't really want to waste your time so um, I'll see you once I reach the top. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we are at the top of High Hrothgar. I'm not sure where I left Goldier, but I am sure he will catch up in a certain amount of time. We are going to go on, head inside and give the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller back to the Greybeards, completing our trial. This is going to be really good for us because we're going to get a Da. A Fusro Da, to be exact. Be very good. We're gonna be uh, having some fun, flinging things off mountains and stuff like that. Ah, you retrieved the horn of Jorgen Yes. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Let's go. To learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. Which means push. 
to push. I push, you push, he pushes, we push, you push, they push. We can push in all tenses. That made no sense at all and I'm not even sorry. Alright, we're actually, for this very ceremonial moment, we're actually gonna tell our follower to just wait here for a second. Because Elsie's just gonna stand in the middle with us here. And just ruin all the ceremony. I'm also gonna take off my hood, because I want it to look cool. Oh god, I forgot what my hair looked like. Very sick. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of Grim. You are ready. Some obvious uh, Lord of the Rings, Gandalf and Saruman inspiration in uh, the way they did those voices there. Or maybe it's just a trope. Angir. I'd like to learn more about the voice. Yeah, so we're gonna get the location of a word here, which might be useful to have in the future, if we happen to dwell close to whatever location we get. If you located any words? Lost Valley Redoubt. Um, that is in the Reach, because it's a redoubt, so it's held by Forsworn. I forget which one this is, but uh, we will find that out next episode. For now, I'm going to say goodbye to you here. I'll just pop my hood back on and all my stuff, and I'll actually uh, collect gold here, here before ending. If you did enjoy uh, the episode, uh, please consider supporting my channel by subscribing, liking the video, sharing it with your friends, perhaps leaving a comment if you're interested. That would all massively help me out, and I would be eternally grateful. And also be sure to check out the next episode. Again, episodes uh, appear on Wednesdays and Sundays, at usually at 9, sometimes a bit later. Today, for example, will be a bit later. But uh, yeah, be sure to tune in in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.